We wanted to record this video specifically for you to know what to do if you're having your carpet wet due to flood, spill of water, or any other scenario. We are currently located in a basement movie theater of a residential home where the carpet is absolutely 100% dry. And what I wanted to show you that this is a thick carpet with a thick underpad and a concrete below. This device will show you that the carpet is 100% dry. When it's moist, it'll beep. When it's dry, it won't. So 100% dry. Now we're gonna use four buckets of water. We're gonna use two of those buckets, two. This square and the same two buckets for the other square to show you two different scenarios. Wet, dry, wet. Now, before we set up our drying equipment, we want to use on one scenario our vacuum extractor to extract as much water from this wet area as possible. And then this area we're going to keep as is, wet, untouched. Once this is vacuumed, we're going to set up the equipment and leave it running for three days. Before you use it, you want to use your own house vacuum to vacuum the area to capture the items and the particles which are on the floor. This is not a vacuum, this is a water extractor. In order to extract the most amount of water from the carpet, you simply lift, push the unit forward, put it down, and push forward to engage and put pressure on the brush towards the carpet. Don't pull it back lifting it, push forward and drag it on you by pressuring the front of the vacuum. This way it will capture as much water as needed. And you repeat that over and over again before you switch direction. Now we're gonna show you how much water we extracted from a simple first application. Bucket is empty. Ideally, you wanna repeat this on a daily basis while your equipment is working. So this is the water collected from the carpet. This is the equipment that you would typically use for such wet area, which we have over here. One dehumidifier, two air movers. Each air mover for its own designated area. The duration of the rental and the drying period is always recommended three days. This is suggested by the manufacturer. It normally takes three days to extract the water. However, in a scenario like we have over here, which the water was untouched and it's a standing still water, you may need the equipment for four, five, six or more days. In a scenario like we have over here, we're going to continue to vacuum this area on a daily basis during the rental and then we'll show you the results. So we're back three days later to test both areas. The one we were vacuuming on a daily basis and the one we didn't touch at all. The equipment was working for three days. When it's beeping, it's wet. Let's see what happens here. It is still moist. Absolutely dry. Now, the top portion of the carpet is dry, but the very bottom part of the underpad is still moist. So it will take another two to three days just for equipment alone to dry it. The reason why this part is dry is because we were vacuuming it. So every time, every day we vacuum, we pull up the moisture at the very top. We suck as much water as possible. The dehumidifier and the fan is gonna dry out the top part, warm it up, then we pull out the water again on a daily basis for the duration of the three days. It's 100% dry. This area was wet and the dehumidifier is drying the top part. Once it's dry, the carpet starts absorbing the water below and it goes on and on for three, four, five days for as long as it takes. Right now, once again, it is dry at the top, at the very bottom, still a bit moist. So it will take another two to three days. Or if we use a vacuum, 
it'll dry with no time. This is how it works.